Oh, in a, match a new form is not in the first in ring competition, but not as it's the seven foot tall monster in Sandman. <laughs> you eat the original Sandman is a returning legend. He is an extreme legend. Big Show, he might have the size advantage. Sandman, when he gets his hand on beer, and when he gets his other hand on a candlestick, there's no telling how bad he hurts his opponents. It's fun, but tall, extreme monster, the Big Show. Now this is a Big Show's first run year in ECW. He uh, came to ECW before. Oh no! Sandman! Sandman has his kendo stick already! And he's... And he is interrupting in Big Show's entrance. And... A kendo stick to the back! Based on the electricity, and he just pummel on him with a kendo stick. Misses it, but Big Show reverses it. And a TKO. No, it's an FTO action. Big Show just slamming Sandman's back to the mat. It was a huge mistake, no pun intended, to attack Big Show during his entrance. But Sandman is. It looks like Sandman is getting in the ring. Yes, he has. Big Show also now. rolls in the ring. And, and the Sandman oh just bat the ring and with the kendo here. stick. Surprisingly, sure he has took down the seven foot it monster. The fans are just shouting, we want tables. Well, they might get tables, because this is the land of extreme. And that and it, and weapons are what they're going to come for. Sandman just now waiting for Big Show to come up. Hello, first watcher. But anyway, back to the action. And Sandman's not even giving him time to get up. And no big shows up now. And sticks the stick off him. And oh, now big show with the stick. Oh no. Big shows chucked the stick away. And Sandman with another reversal. Sandman's going for a pin already. One. To not even close. Turns up. Make sure, like, oh, you open a monster like me out already. Followed up by a side drop. Big show now with the cover of his own. One, two, and Sandman kicks out. Big show now in control of the match. Locking on the submission, Sandman. As I was saying before, rudely interrupted by Sandman. But this ain't Big Show's. Wait, 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 what's he looking for? Big Show just went on the top row. That's the first. Anyway, this ain't Big Show's first run in ECW. Because back in 2007 and 8, he became ECW champion and aligned himself with ECW manager at the time, Paul Heyman. But now things have changed. It's a new year, it's 2017, and Paul Heyman is no longer the manager. A manager now is the man who thankfully brought back the land of extreme, Bobby Heenan. But send them all a close line. <laughs> and now what's he not think for? <laughs> well, he's grabbing the legs of Big Show and... Oh my god, he's swinging around the seven foot monster! Oh my! Sam has must have lots of strength in him to do that! Holy crap! But this might be a mistake, because he ain't going for a pin! 
and they keep saying they want tables and let's see oh Sandman has got oh, what they're looking match. for right Sandman has got a table and he's waiting for Big Show to get out of the ring and Big Show, you should have stayed in the ring because Sandman is taking him out with a table. Now Sandman get back in the ring. And uh oh, he's calling for his signature dive. No. He was feeling something different today. I guess he's tricked Big Show. Well, now he's talking to the fans, and that might be a mistake. As a spear by Big Show. Oh, gosh. Big Show with a huge spear, followed up by a gorilla slam. The cover. One, two, no. Dead man fights. He's Back the into the match. The more punishment he takes, and oh my God, just stopping on Sadman's head. Oh, look at that. Big Show ain't letting Sadman have a little breather. He's just working on him as much as he can, and I'm leaving the ring. Maybe it was a mistake for Sadman to bring his kendo stick because now Big Show has the kendo stick but no Sandman doesn't let him use it and he hits him where the clothes line Sandman stunting him up and is it reasonable? yes it's a signature DDT but holy blue cheese and he knocked him out because not only did he DDT him on the solid steel match, but he also done it on the kendo stick. Now he, this has to be it. And two, no! How did he kick out? And why is ECW not using the bad language? Well, since WWE said no swearing, then we can't swear. But. They never said no extreme. So that's why Bobby Heenan brought back. That's why they probably call him the break. And a boot one, two, no. Sandman is fighting with all the heart he has. And no, reversal land. Whoa. Gosh! Oh, just slamming him like dead weight. Big show, looking at the ring for a weapon. What weapon? And he chose, and it's a sledgehammer. I point it down straight away, and oh, a huge strike! Sandman's going to the top rope. Wherever he's looking for, must be a crazy dive. Straight for Big Show and oh, Axandle! One, two, no! Oh, was Big Show stay? He did it! Sandman's in shock. Sandman doesn't know what to do. Sandman's heading out the ring. Oh no, no! He's taking a part on commentary table. Oh, Sandman, that's not right. Leave our commentary table B. Good Lord, that wasn't even. Oh no! Oh my God! Big show. See that one? Oh my God! A huge knockout punch. One, two, three, and Big Show has knocked him out clearly.
has bitten off more than he could chew yeah, in this match. Maybe if he never attacked Big Show at the beginning, he might have had a fair advantage. Who am I joking? No one gets out the ring in one piece when they're in the ring with Big Show. We got one-on-one -on -one action coming your way next, King. It's the best. It's Rick Rude taking on some tough competition. Oh man, this should be great.
And now we get to the third match of tonight's first show. And it will be the homicidal, genocidal, extreme myth, Sabu, versus the one and only, the ravishing Rick Rude. Rick Rude talked to her brain. Bobby Heenan earlier, he said he ain't going to fight in an extreme match. Because he don't think that him getting hurt is worthy of being put on TV. He wants to be left in one piece. But how does Sabu agree to that? He let him off on a normal match. And you're in that normal match. Here comes the self-proclaimed most ravishing superstar on the ECW roster. The anticipation for this match is over, and now, here we go. Oh, let's get it on! Which one of these two will walk away with the win? We'll find out as this one gets underway in mere moments. <laughs> Guys, we have to demand challenge because Rick Rude is talking. Guys, here comes the man who doesn't believe in the word silence when it comes to wrestling. He is Sabu. He was hoping to bump his opponent through a couple tables tonight. Smash his face up with a couple chairs. But this is Rick Rude. He's cowarding out. And Sabu is just going to have to wait. So he gets in the ring next time to go to the extreme. Shabu. I don't have no clue why the brain Bobby Heenan brought Rick Rude here to ECW Reboot 2. What's the point of bringing someone who don't, doesn't even want to go to the extreme? If he doesn't want to go to the extreme, go to NXT for, or something. This guy will never be known as an ECW legend if he doesn't get into the extreme mood. 
and Rick Rude. Oh, a huge leg to go to Sebo. Go for the cover. One. No. Rick Rude now just taunting, showing off his self proclaimed abs. And that will cost him because Sabu has now got the accolade. Wow! Holy! Sabu! Sabu! I just put Rick Rude away! In a record setting time! Yes, yeah, she didn't have no breathers to take off when he needed to. But still managed to put Rick Rude away with a with a bone breaking submission of his own. The time that Sabu has defeated him in the little warp in four minutes. How did he do that? Well, that'll probably cost Rick Root taunting. I will also cost him for not caring in Sabu's good box. But now we get to some more action. As now we hear from the co general manager, as we know, Bobby the Brain Healer is the official general manager. Shane is just here to help him out. But let's see what Shane McMahon has to say to us extreme fans and extreme commentators. <coughs> With everything going on lately, we thought and we here he comes, the son of Vince McMahon, Shane O'Mac himself. <laughs> Not everyone wishes to be an ECW superstar. They wish to be in the business that Vince made, my father made, but, 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 I don't care about the Raws, the Smackdowns, cause I am now an ECW member. Some of you might say I sold out, but I don't have to listen to you. What does it take to be an ECW? Well, there's only one rule. You have to be extreme enough. You have to be tough enough. You have to be willing to put your body on the line when you don't want to. I guess Rick Rude didn't have that a couple minutes ago. But, I'm not yet just to be a co-manager. See, I'm here to get some in-ring action. <laughs> and who can I verse on my first match back in action next week? I don't know. How about the first person who steps out of the shadows when I'm done talking, I will face next week. Trust me though, whoever works out the curtains, you're making a mistake stepping in the ring with Shane O'Mac. Who's it gonna be? Where I recognize that music, yes! Wow! It is stunning! Steve Austin, the man that put his father Vince through hell and back. These two actually have history. 
But I guess he will have yeah, to verse him next week as Shane said anyone. But wow! I didn't actually think he'd beat anyone as much of a legend as both these two are. My odds are on Steve Austin. Really? I should be worried of you. I already took down Vince. So what's it gonna take to beat you? You're no better than Vince. Yes, you are the extreme one in the family. But I'm the extremist in the company. You might be a coal manager, but that doesn't matter to me. I don't care what you have to say. And yes, you should be worried, cause I will get my signature trash bin as much as trash you are. It suits you very well, and I will kick your head in. I will do whatever I have to to make you retire once and for all. You already got retired a stone cold. You thought you'd make your way back as another old gimmick. Older than before. Hey, hey I'm not old. You want to know what is going to get older? You wiping your gums. You not putting up a fight. So next week when you step in the ring with me, you better put on a good foot or you won't do the last of it. Oh, yapping my gums, am I? Really? <laughs> well, Shane, what's he doing? Oh my God, he just hit Steve Austin. And misses. Oh, this is turning into a brawl, yeah. Steve said he better put up a good fight. And... What's going on in him yet in his gloves? Shane didn't take well to his advice and the co-manager is now beating down on Steve Austin. But well, where's the co-manager -ma going now? Well, he's just walking away. He's walking away like a low life that he is. He attacks Austin, then just leaves like he and just, I don't know, just put someone through a table. Well, but Steve's chasing after him. Oh no, we're gonna have to get backstage cameras for this. Whoa, and Shane, Shane. No! He goes head first! But I'll pop it back up amazingly! Some strikes! And third! What's gonna happen? Oh no! Oh no no no! A suplex onto the solid steel mat! Oh my gosh! Shane McMahon has laid out Steve Austin! This might be... A preview of what's going to happen next week. Oh, May. Stone. Oh, wait. Stunning Steve Austin. Get his revenge. Don't change the channel. We have singles action coming up. No one's going to change any channel. We have one of our breakout talents in a match I am sure we will not soon forget. Oh, man. I can't wait to see these two go at it. And now we've got some cruiserweight action. As two of the best cruiserweights in the world go head to head. You at ECW. It's an ECW original RVD versus Ray Miss T Re. Oh! Both of these know what it's like to be a champion. RVD, former ECW champion. Rey Mysterio, champions in, champion in nearly everywhere he's went. WCW, WE, WE, 
and maybe he maybe just maybe he might win the cruiserweight or main title here on the land of extreme And here is Rob Van Dam. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Battle Creek, Michigan. Weighing in at Battle Creek, Michigan's own. Cars look geared up and ready to go. I can't wait to see what happens when the bell rings. I'll be there at a word with Ray before the match. And he told him. No matter what happens in the ring tonight, no matter how much pain both these guys go through, he'll still forgive him for everything that happens. Speaking about Ray, here he comes. He is the ECW Crew Z-Weight champion even though he ain't a cruiserweight champion that belongs to rvd but rvd said that ray can hold it to see what it's like to be champ but he can't keep the title and ray now getting in the ring and uh, here we go. RVD start off with a kick. But. Ray. A reversal. And a drop kick. We are going to see lots of high flying moves tonight. And come on. It's Ray Mysterio and RVD we're talking about. This is a cruiserweight dream match of its own during ECW. After this, we will have the main event, the match to crown the first ECW 2017 champion. And it's the beast, the Paul Heyman beast, Brock Lesnar versus Chris oh Benoit. He's on the defensive here. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one on one atmosphere where he thrives. Uh, Ray, you, reversal, and a springboard crossbody. Following up by a reversal by RVD. Kick. But oh no! He's accidentally crossbodied onto the ref. And a power bomb to Ray. Cover and the match ain't gonna end that quick. It's not Rick Rude in the ring with RVD now. Come on. Cross body of his own not working well. And no. He's dropping out the weapon. And what? RVD. Oh no, wrenching back the hand of Ray. Chucking him out to the ring. And a splash. Just look at this. You can see the results from that move. And he's getting the pipe. Oh no, RVD with a reversal. And a hurricane runner. Wait, why is the ref counting? This is ECW. What? Oh! Oh! The pipe. And it him up. Where was the ref doing? He's stamping out on him. Wait! What? RVD won by DQ? No! This is ECW! They're every match! Well, nearly 
every match is extreme. What has the ref just got there done? It is some sort of favoritism. F, when the show goes off air, we are gonna have to find out what happened. What happened to make the ref DQ Ray? There is no DQs in ECW. What? Singles action is up next. You're not gonna want to miss this. Nor my commentary. It will be Brock Lesnar in a match that will be etched in the record books. Oh, oh man, I can't wait to see these two go at it. And now, ladies, gentlemen, gentlemen, boys, girls watching at home, watching live, you better get ready, because we are going to crown the first ECW champ.
As I just said, everyone watching at home on your televisions, laptops, iPads, PCs, phones, whatever it is you're watching on. Or if you're watching, you're lucky to get a ticket live at the EGW first show. This is going to be an awesome main event. Yes, it's the main event because we are crowning first ECW chap. Will the first ECW championship be talking by the beast incarnate, the Paul Heyman beast, Brock Lesnar? Maybe, because nobody has defeated him since 2017. 2017 has been his golden year so far. And now you're in ECW as Paul Heyman, beast. Will not take well to WWE as he was the Universal Champion. But he decided to sell out on them and join you. You're the best brand ever, ECW. So might this be the Paul Heyman beats Brock Lesnar as first champ? Or might there be this guy, the crippler? Some people call him the innovator of the crossface, Chris Benoit. Let's find out. Chris Benoit going straight on the attack. He ain't backing down. He ain't scared of the beast Brock Lesnar. He knows what it's like to be in the ring with Brock Lesnar. And that's why he ain't scared. That's why he knows what it's like. Some chops. Well, repeated chops. They're already on the outside. And oh! Huge body drop, followed it to a back German suplex on the outside mat. This is probably going to be the extremest match on the card, as it is the main event tonight. And it does have two extreme superstars in the match Brock Lesnar, a former UFC cage fighter, Chris Benoit. U.S. Champion, World Champion, I'm just fighting all he can. He stopped up Brock to his feet. Brock is not in control. Yeah, that's just shocking. And the steel pipe. Oh! Probably him with this pipe. This guy used I uh, ten minutes ago when Ray got messed around with by the ref. The same ref here tonight. What is the ref's problem with Ray? Might it be the mask? We don't know. But Chris Benoit, what is he doing? We just had to fix that announce table from the big, from one the, the beginning matches, Big Show versus the Sandman. Are we gonna have to fix it again after the show? But well, let's say this time while we're watching this extreme. Show and a table now, but Chris Benoit ain't letting him have it. How many chops did he deliver, Jerry? Chris Benoit now going in the ring and he's saying, Come on, Brock, come on. I have seen somebody be so confident in the ring against Brock Lesnar since, since 2014. 
when John Cena took him on at SummerSlam. But what happened? What happened? He got destroyed. He was confident, but he got destroyed. And maybe that's going to be the same story told you instead with Chris Benoit. And a spear to the outside. Both of these superstars is fitting to be champion. They both are extreme as it gets. So it doesn't matter if Brock's champ at the end of the night, if Benoit is champ at the end of the night. The only thing that matters is that the show was extreme enough, living. But oh my! Brock Lesnar with a DDT. Some people call the business fake. Yeah, that's raw. That's SmackDown and all that. But ECW is not fake. ECW puts bodies on the line. Careers are ended. Necks are broken. And a clothesline. Chris Benoit must be confident not backing down from Lagner and he's setting up a and table on the outside. Whipping him into the corner he's and a clothesline. And Michael, given how evenly fault this has been and now, this might be a Brock Lesnar is not looking yeah, good. Brock Lesnar thought he would just walk into the ring. Have a few little bumps off. But no, he's got outsmarted. Brock is angry and going straight up at him with some jabs. And Brock Lesnar Taking him to top rope. <laughs> oh no, what's he looking for? Is it going to be a butterfly suplex? Yes, yes it is. And holy cow. With that amazing. Buck has to go back out the ring. He has a steel pipe. And no, reversal. He just knocked him down. A jab. Whoa. Oh no. F5. F5 out of nowhere. This is it. Two. No. That was two and a half. So close to put him away. But Chris Benoit hangs in with all the will to succeed. He doesn't want to lose his first opportunity at the title. Bringing him up to his feet again. And, oh, he's looking for the sharpshooter. I know. Brock Lesnar finds a way to break out of it. And a reversal. And a scoop slam. Oh no, you know what's going to happen. If a scoop slams it, then obviously it's connected with a diving head. But... As he beat him, one, two, no! Somehow Brock Lesnar has not lost, not got put away. Getting back that pipe, bring him up. And no, Brock caught him in the act. And a pipe shot to his own. Chris Benoit gets out the ring. Wide choice. And they're now brawling again on the concrete floor. These guys, none of them want to lose. 
None of them want to lose the first opportunity at winning the ECW title. That's why not only is it an extreme show, but these guys are willing to do anything and no reversing and a backdrop. Brock Lesnar's signature. Talking about his signature, here it is. Ben Barnes sadly now taking the trip to Suplex City. And he should have went for a pin, but that might be a mistake. And Ben Barnes is now up on his own feet, but no, a Tebow Suplex. years ago we got called extreme crappy wrestling does look does this look like crappy wrestling to you Jerry Lola and only how was Ben Wall managed managed to carry on we need to show you the replay of that was it a five one two look how close he was to losing I'm sure the ref hand hit three. But it's up to the ref. A Brock Lesnar's out of breath. He doesn't know what to do. But Ben Watt first and wait what? What is he doing? No, he isn't doing what I think he's doing, is he? Yes, he is just infringed on Brock's own signature move, Suplex C. He has some suplexes of his own. And the second diving headlock. Let's show you the replay of that. Both of these guys must have a headache after that. That is dangerous. One, two. Throw that is impossible. That was so close. We also need to show you the replay of that. Then I got class. This was one, two, and a lock right by there. I'm sure that ref might touch the floor, but I guess he. And all the other fans don't want to see this match end. As much as we need a champion to set the records, this match is just amazing. I'd say this is a five star ECW Hall of Fame worth match. Is it going to go in the Hall of Fame though? Maybe, maybe not, because it's only the first episode. And we still have about 24, 20, 23, 24 episodes left. Whoever walks out your champion, they must be proud of the fellow opponent. I'm sure whoever loses deserves a rematch, because this match is a classic and a Ben Wall whacking Lesnar's head into the concrete but Ben Wall gets whacked into the steps Brock, Brock is taking him back into the ring and a boot to Ben Wall's head a reversal and some jabs. Oh no! A power bomb. Three power bombs in a row. Oh my God! The strength of Brock Lesnar, I tell you. A power bomb. 
with another reversal. Three guys are just tearing the house down. No. Ben, what's he looking for? And, oh no, a second sharpshooter. Maybe this will end. Maybe this will pull away. Lesnar. And somehow, just somehow in this god damn world, it is broken out of again by Lesnar. And another reversal. And oh no, he's going for it again. No, he's getting down from the ropes. What? What? What is he doing? Oh, wee! He has just set the table on fire. What did he have in his boot to do that with? Oh no. Oh, oh no! Holy! 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 Yes, you know what? The fans are screaming. And Benoit has just put Lesnar away through a flaming table with an electric chair drop. You won't find that on any ordinary show in the WWE, WCPW, TNA. Nothing is as extreme as ECW and uh, now using the steel steps. Brock Lesnar! Then they get his own. The match would go. But Brock Lesnar is tough. How tough is he? Well, he is just stood up like nothing happened after having an electric chair drop through a flaming ignited table. Oh no, into the post. It's just Benoit. And oh, an elbow reversed. And he gets chucked in the ring again. Oh. Brock Lesnar doesn't know what else to do to put him away. Benoit is wise to move out the ring again and get a breather of his own. And we have just reached the one hour mark. Congratulations to everyone who's watching. But no congratulations to, to the ref. The ref screwed over Rey Mysterio earlier on. And close them back up the ring. Benoit is not the best hang around. Lesnar sought something else in this match. He thought he'd walk in grip and tear Benoit's head off. But no, his plans backfired. And Lesnar, where's Heyman? Where is his fellow manager? Hey man, I don't know, but only we know what this is. Oh no, a third, third diving headbutt. Is that gonna do it? Cause as they say, three times the champ. Is that saying true? One, two, throw. I don't know what. Will put Lesnar away. He don't believe it. He go for another cover. One, two, no. It's true. Brock Lesnar is a living and machine of a beast. He can. He gave him everything in the Benoit book. But no another reversal. And a third. Sharpshooter, maybe third time the charm of the submissions. Maybe, maybe not. And no, he was close there to making Lesnar tap. Lesnar was sweating, wanting to tap, but just can't give up. I don't know who to vote for, because both of these guys are willing to put their bodies on the line. And the 
fans are just chanting match of the year match of the year the calm down guys what do you mean match of the year suddenly the first show calm down and the second sequence of Lesnar's famous triple power bombs that's it guys one yes it's it Benoit could not fight any longer. Benoit should be proud of himself. He didn't win the title, but he should be proud. He should be proud that how much he put up of a fight here in the main event. He is definitely deserving to be champ as Lesnar is, because he done everything he could as well a electric chair dropped through a flaming table hit Lesnar on the back three diving headbutts it looked like Lesnar was gonna tap there but no landing Benoit on his skull with them power bombs a Lesnar is your new ECW Champion. Bye, girls, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining the rebirth number two of ECW. And you can join us next time here on ECW. And if you like that show, you're gonna like more ACW, more extremeness. Guys, thank you for watching ECW. Peace out.